My name is Phoebe Mann and I was born in Hong Kong and came here with my family in 1974. We lived in BC, Vancouver, BC for the first year and then moved to Winnipeg the year after and uh, we've been here ever since. So in 1989 I started doing taiko drumming and this is something that I've always wanted to do when I was growing up in Hong Kong. Uh, not taiko drumming but just any kind of drumming. I don't even know what, what drove me to that hmm. point, but I just knew that I wanted to play drums, and, right. but I never got around to, and I never tried to you know, explore it as I got older, because you know, when you were being told not to do something for a long, right. long time, you just you know, automatically think right. that's the way it is, and uh, right. you just you know, wouldn't even bother questioning. Yeah, and so I didn't didn't get to drum until it was uh, relatively o older than sure. than average, you know. So you <clears throat> did you go to a show or a concert? Did you see somebody? Was it live? Was it a, um, something that just? No, actually, I didn't even know what taiko drumming was. Uh, a friend, a very a more acquaintance, uh, she was drumming with the local group, the one and only group. Okay. Um, at the time, and one day um, I ran into her and she told me about this workshop. So I went in with my nice Thai shirt, <laughs> silk pants and silk shirt and, you know, <laughs> loose hair, you know. Yeah. And then I found it was a totally <laughs> different ball game, you know, it was very physical, it was right. very martial arts uh, oriented. So after the one whole day of workshop, I just knew that that was something I wanted to do for a long, long time. So and it's become a, a huge part of your... Very much so, yeah. Part of your life. Yeah. You would then say, like, your time here in Winnipeg, I mean, that's really where you started performing, that you started, found your artistic voice. Yeah, well, I found the drumming in the beginning, but I don't think... I found my voice yet at that time. Right. And I, I knew I needed to find my own voice. Mm -hmm. And after I left Hinode, I also co founded Fubuki Daiko in 1995. And I drummed with them until 2000. Okay. But I knew also at that, during that time, I needed, I needed to find my own voice. And so it took me a whole year to make the decision of leaving the group. Mm -hmm. Because really, ever since um, I started going on my own, I really had to push myself to discover right. more and more on my own. And, and I think it's, it's a good path for me because I'm very interested in working with other people. Right. Because, you know, I really don't see any difference right. in, in anybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so in that sense, it, it really feeds my soul. And, and I could really choose, you know, whomever I want to work with. Um, you know, I look for a strong right. spiritual connection, you yeah. know, and um, that, that's really, I think, the ground <laughs> right. of, on, on where I stand.